Well, they are the frontline workers you see when you buy your groceries. United Food and Commercial Workers International Union wants those grocery workers to be designated as first responders during this pandemic. Dozens have died doing their job. Tonight, CBS 42's Malik Rankin reports on what's being done in Alabama to keep grocery workers safe. Malik. Good evening, Sherry. The Alabama Grocers Association has new recommendations to make shopping safer. I spoke with a Hueytown grocery store about the steps they're taking to protect themselves and you. Barry Dabbs starts his shifts at 2 a.m. He comes in early to clean the registers, carts, and other frequently touched places. Basically, we just sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Employees are provided masks and gloves, and plexiglass barriers were installed at each cash register for protection. Especially if somebody comes in and they can stand right there in front of it so they're not breathing directly on the cashiers. Signs are displayed on every aisle reminding customers to keep their distance. The Alabama Grocers Association is recommending busier stores take that one step further. Many stores are doing one way aisles to make sure that consumers are not close to one another and maintaining that six foot distance. Ellie Taylor says although the panic shopping has calmed, they're still asking customers to think about others. Please take what you need, but leave some for your neighbor. Um, that way we can ensure that we are providing food to everybody that comes in the store. As stores slowly get back to being fully stocked, Dabs helps his shoppers by posting online daily with updates on the food giant's supply. Instead of a customer having to go to three or four different places, why not just see, read my post, see what's available. Like I say, I do it all for the community. The Alabama Grocers Association is also asking you have a designated shopper for your household. This way, fewer trips take place, keeping store employees and you safer. Live in Birmingham, I'm Malik Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.